Good. All right, guys, we have station seven here. And so there's a couple different pieces. We have a galvanometer, which just basically measures how much electricity is going through this red coil right here. And right now, if you look, it's pretty much on zero. You can see that there's zero electricity going through this coil. And so the questions on your lab um, are based on a traffic light switch and how this would be used to tell a traffic light, or just to say that there's a car parked at a traffic signal. And to demonstrate this, Mr. Lee's got his fancy car over here. Nice. Christmas present a few years ago. From the family. And so if you look, we've put a magnet to the bottom of the car. Because most cars have a lot of metal in them. Which but, means there's But this one magnets. has very little. <laughs> yeah, this is plastic, but it has some reindeer. Be like a Corvette. Yeah, there you go. So what's going to happen here, guys, is right now there's no electricity flowing through this coil. So you can see there's zero. But if you pass the magnet over the coil, notice what happens. When the magnet goes over the coil, it produces electricity. Go ahead. Run so, it over again so you can just see what... So just going right over the loop, you can see it produces electricity in the coil. And now, all of a sudden it says to the traffic light, it says somebody's parked there at the traffic light, so we should start to switch them soon. And Mr. Lee, can you describe if you were actually at a traffic light what you might see on the ground? Well, on the ground what they do is they have... Um, they cut a rectangle into the asphalt or into the... Um, concrete and it's about as big as the table so you can actually see them quite easily it's about that big and when you come up to it if you have enough metal in your car as it goes over it changes the magnetic field and it induces a current in the coil of wire and that gets picked up by the by the traffic light but if you have a car that doesn't have that or maybe a motorcycle or a bicycle then you cannot get the switch to turn. So what they usually do, like in Minnesota, is they've actually passed a law that if you're at a left turn and you go through two cycles of the switch and you still can't turn because it didn't turn green, you can turn left on red. That's actually a, a law for motorcyclists. Kind of neat. But you have to ride a motorcycle. It can't be like your Yeah, you bicycle. can't be doing it in a car. <laughs> <laughs> or Just on a motorcycle. You can't drive a car. Yep.